Hello everyone, today I will talk about the effect of water turbidity on sand digging and predation behavior of cuttlefish sepia officinalis. Sepia officinalis is a common cephalopod who breeds, hatches, and develops in the turbid water of the English Channel. Up to now, behavioral studies on cuttlefish in laboratory conditions were all conducted on animals previously reared in clear seawater. However, previous studies show that cuttlefish could see predators in turbid water. So in the present study, we investigate sand digging and predation behavior of juveniles previously reared in different water turbidities. Our hypotheses are that turbid water will not alter its sand digging behavior because this is not a visually guided behavior. And cuttlefish reared in turbid water should develop better visual ability and so detect prey faster and at higher distance than those reared in clear seawater. For the sand digging test, we put an animal here in a glass cylinder with sand in it, and the animal will be tested in two experimental conditions, surrounded by clear seawater or turbid seawater. We will test the animal at three age, so 15 days, 21 days, and 28 days. For the predation test, we put an animal in a box here, a plastic box, and allow him to settle for five minutes. Then we put a shrimp in the box and allow the animal to catch it for 15 minutes. The animal will be tested in clear seawater or turbid seawater. So here the animal will be from three groups. So the control group, we're ready in clear seawater. The low turbidity group, we're in slightly turbid water. And the high turbidity group, we're in highly turbid water. So for the result, here I show the percent of cuttlefish who bury themselves in blue or who do not bury in red. So what we can see is when you compare um, here to here, for example, you see that more cuttlefish bury themselves when they are surrounded by turbid water. So for example, from here to here or here to here. When a cuttlefish bury themselves, they always have some a visible part. So what I show you here is the homochromal level. So it's, um, it compares the visible part of the cuttlefish color and the color of the sand. When the homochromal level is end red, the color of the visible part of the cuttlefish and the sand are the same. So what we see here is for each group, uh, the visible port of cuttlefish are lighter than the scent when they are surrounded by clear water. And they are darker than the scent when they are surrounded by turbid water. So for the predation test, here I show the latency of detection in second for each group and condition. So what we see here is that there is no difference between the group or experimental condition. For the detection distance here, uh, we can see that for the group red in highly turbid water, uh, this group detects the prey at higher distance here uh, in clear water compared to turbid uh, seawater. And for this group again, uh, there is different strategy um, in clear and turbid seawater. So here's the time between detection and attack is very uh, higher in clear sea water. So the cuttlefish detect, then wait and attack the prey. Whereas in turbid water, it detect and attack the prey directly. So what we can say is that cuttlefish adapt their sand digging behavior to water turbidity. First, water turbidity can impact non-visually guided behavior. And for the predation test, we just have no difference except for the group red in highly turbid water. For this group, the predation behavior is less effective in turbid water. So for this group red in highly turbid water, the turbidity can uh, impact the fitness of the individual because if they can end, they will die soon. Thanks for your attention.